Damn, them French filmmakers. Let's review Frontiers. Frontiers stars Karina Testa, Patrick Lagardis, Arlene Wilk, and is directed by Xavier Jens. What's up guys? Welcome to another, I guess, foreign review. I like doing foreign horror movies from time to time just because not just reviewing, but watching, you know, just stepping outside of my normal comfort zone, you know, American horror movies and digging into what the, the international folk do. And boy, do they try different things, I guess, over there. Maybe they think the same thing about us. I don't know. But that's one thing I get from foreign horror movies. Some variety, you know, uh, especially in terms of the violence. Like Japanese filmmakers are known for like how eccentric they are, how bold they are in terms of the story. French filmmakers are known for just how brutal they are and how far they will go to stress a point in terms of violence. And Frontiers is no joke. So recently I did a top 10 underrated Final Girls and a lot of you guys were throwing ideas at me and a good friend of mine, Julianne, who is like a, a freelance writer, huge horror fan, loves like foreign horror, all types of horror. Um, but she mentioned this movie, Frontiers, and the character Yasmin, who is our main character of this, uh, as a great final girl. And after watching this, boy is she right. This character goes through hell in this movie and, you know, comes out on the other side of it. I'm not going to tell you if she lives or dies. I mean, you can compare this to like The Descent, where, funny enough, that movie has two different versions depending on... Uh, you know, if you watch the American version, the European cut uh, where, where she lives in one of them and she dies in the other one. Not two cuts of this one, but, you know, for spoilers sake, I'm not going to tell you if she lives or dies. But I just will tell you that she goes through hell and she's a kick-ass fighter. And I love characters like that. So first off, let's give you a quick plot synopsis. Uh, this takes place like during this election in, uh, I think, France or somewhere like that. But... There's a lot of civil strife going on, communities fighting amongst each other, and you can see that in the opening of this movie. It is freaking chaotic as hell. Uh, and not a place I would want to be. Just think of like, you know, the, the Rodney King riots back in the early 90s. Kind of like that, you know, civil unrest. And these characters, our main characters, are getting out of there, but they end up in, a, in an even worse situation. And I like to file this under like crazy family, psychotic horror, thinking back to like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, because they end up at this family who are like these crazy Nazis and uh, they just torture people pretty much. They capture you and they torture you. And sometimes just waiting to be tortured is even worse than the act itself because that's what happens in here. They capture them and then they like put them in this room on this like dirty muddy floor with these pigs on the other side of them. And you know, you're just waiting like when's my turn coming? Now like most French horror movies, this movie is extremely violent. It's probably not for everyone, especially like non-horror fans. And I was a little confused at first because it felt like more of just a, a frantic I don't know if you'd call it like an action drama. That's what it feels like for the first like two thirds of the movie. But once they get into this crazy family, then the horror really kicks in. And boy does it. Like just giving you an idea of some of the scenes in this, you're gonna see like hooks in ankles hanging upside down, uh, you know, and a character trying to help this person. And the more he pulls on him, the more pain is inflicted. You're gonna see heads exploding. Uh, there's a dinner scene. It's funny enough, I was just talking about Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but there's a dinner scene in this movie um, where our main character, she's pretty much captured. And this is a great scene because you get to meet all the key players uh, in the family. And there's this one character that was also a captain. She's had like four kids. And she's kind of uh, our main character's only hope to get out of this. So she's that character that you don't really trust. You know, she could be good. She could be bad. She's Yasmin's only chance of getting out of this. But that scene gets freaking crazy because this is the scene where Yasmin, um, she's really just starting to lose it. You know, psychologically, she's just broken down. She's already been through hell. And so there, let's just say there's a, an explosion. Not like, not like a literal explosion, but an explosion of events that happens at the end of that scene. And it's very satisfying. But I can't praise Karina Testa enough for her performance as Yasmin. Uh, you can tell when an actress 
or an actor has to go through a, a physical transformation throughout a movie, both emotionally and physically. I can imagine the, these shooting days were tough on this actress. You can just tell it. You can almost smell it on the screen. And uh, the work that she puts into this role, like you can compare it to what Marilyn Burns had to do in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Rarely do you see a performance like that where it's just physically grueling, emotionally grueling. Thankfully, this actress, she went through hell and she wanted to put forth the best performance that she could. Now, as far as like filming techniques, uh, Xavier Jens, I hope I'm saying his last name right, okay? But he, he had a specific style that he wanted to go for with this movie. You know, you can compare this to like what they did in like the, the second and third Bourne movies, how it's the frantic camera movements. And I think it fits when it matches the story and it, boy does it in this one. You know, there's like a cut every half a second uh, through some of the sequences, not all of them. Um, but it doesn't get in the way because that's the nature of the story. You know, these characters are in complete chaos. And what that does is it just makes you feel like you're going through it with them. It wouldn't work if you set up like a, a John Carpenter frame on this and just let the action unfold in front of you. For, for most of the sequences anyway. There are some stationary camera scenes in the movie, but I'd say for the most part, a lot of it's handheld. It's for movement. It's to push you through the story. And, and to help you feel what these characters are going through. And you know, you can't breathe by the end of this movie. Also, besides all the, you know, the violent action scenes, there's some really unsettling set pieces in this too. You got this one room that's just a bunch of hanging bodies that, you know, the character ends up having to maneuver through. And, you know, not knowing what's around the corner, there's like fog in there. It's, it's not a, a situation I would ever want to be in. You got one character that gets stuck in this, this room where the heat is slowly turned up, thinking back to like Halloween 2 with the hot tub. He's pretty much melted, <laughs> you know? So that gives you an idea of how crazy some of the set pieces are, some of the violence is. There's a scene with freaking bolt cutters, that's all I'm going to say. But uh, this is a meal. If you're, if you're in the mood for a really violent, crazy movie with really interesting characters, prostitute Nazis, then uh, this is the movie for you. But this is a, uh, an older movie. This is like 2007, I believe, and I thought it was a newer movie. It's on Shudder. I think it just came to Shudder like recently. Thank God for Shudder. I swear they just constantly are introducing so many new movies that I would have never even thought about watching, you know? Not getting paid by Shutter. I just, I love the freaking streaming platform. And uh, definitely add this one to your playlist, okay? Frontiers. I'm giving this a high purchase worthy for sure. It's crazy. Not for everybody, okay? So, have you seen Frontiers? Let me know down in the comments. Also, be sure to come over to Killer Flicks where we talk horror all day and every day and on Fridays. We do Free for Fridays. Follow me at Drum Dums on my social support me on Patreon. Buy me a coffee. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Drum Dum out.